warm greetings from the high ten. It is everyday shenanigans on this chilly early morning, Thursday morning, December seventeenth, two thousand twenty. I just jumped off from a live. Thank you guys so much for joining me and listening into the live. I told you I'd jump back on with another uploaded video, and here I am in the witching hour. I want to bring you that information out of Sandy Springs, Georgia. If you need verification for the storyline, please log on to CBS News. Kirsty Flood, 29, Caucasian female, killed a two-year-old Georgia girl, Sandy Springs. She beat her to death, and it was not an accidental fall, as Miss Flood claimed it to be. She was arrested after an autopsy was performed on the small child, and it revealed she was abused. The girl died at the hospital after being found unconscious in her apartment on December 9th. Blood took care of the toddler. Google searches show that she was looking for types of people who enjoyed abusing others and sudden urges to kill other people's children that are not yours. She told the detective, detective that she hit the child, hit her head on a slide at a park, and the child's name is Fallon Fridley. Blood was a trusted friend of the family for years. A GoFundMe has been set up for funeral arrangements for the child. Miss Blood is charged with two counts of felony murder, one count of aggravated battery, one count of first degree cruelty to children. There have been numerous reports involving Miss Blood since August of this year, and those charges are larceny, harassing, communication, harassing communications, and criminal trespass. Trespass, excuse me. And that is the information. CBS News is the source. So, Kirsty Flood, 29, was a trusted friend of a family whose child she was taking care of. She beat to death a two year old baby girl in Sandy Springs, Georgia. A few weeks ago, the child died at the hospital. And now this heathen has been charged with beating the child. As I've told you all before, we are in desperate times. We have cruel people out here who don't care anything about you, and they sure as hell don't care anything about your children. This is a mean bitch. Do you understand what I'm saying? Excuse my French. She's a nasty heathen. 29 years of age. Googling, what is it like to beat a child if it is not your own? Well, would it matter whose baby it is? To beat a child, period, is wrong. And this heifer knew better than to beat the baby, whether it was hers or somebody else's. The fact that she was a trusted friend of the family for years is even worse because this heathen had been going around these people and they allowed her in their house home to watch the child and then she beat the baby to death. And my belief is that it's premeditated because they have phone records to show she had been Googling, searching heinous crimes pertaining to abusing a child, harming a child, so that shows premeditation. And she enacted that and beat that child to death and then lied and said the baby hit her head on a slide in a park. She's nasty. And I pray she don't get no bond. And I pray if she, if the stupid judge gives her a bond, nobody bonds her out. If you all know of these people, the Fritley. Fallon Friendly is the name of the two-year-old child. They're in need of money to bury the baby if they haven't already. And if you can aid in any kind of way to help this family, please go to, I guess, the Facebook page and look up uh, Fallon Friendly and donate any type of funds you can to help this family get their child buried. This is horrific and heinous, and this helper needs her ass beat. Because, you see, this isn't her child. And even if it was her child, she had no right to beat that baby to death. A two-year-old cannot defend herself against a big old great woman. She couldn't do it if it was another child that beat her to death. And why would she want to beat a baby? See, this is what I'm talking about. The craziness that goes on out here. These people out here don't care nothing about you. They don't care nothing about your kids. They don't care nothing about their own kids. They don't care. They are empty vessels floating around looking for a victim. And this is sickening and sad. Christmas is right around the corner. It just came out of Thanksgiving. 
People are dying out here of COVID-19. People have been sick from COVID-19. People are suffering without work, money, job, home. People are facing evictions from their homes. And this heifer had nothing better to do than to be the innocent child. But baby girl, where you at? And where you going? You about to get the playtime of your life. Because see where you going, it's some bigger girl that's going to play with your head and beat your head like it's on a slide board. And we're going to see how you like it in the playhouse, the big playhouse. And once you get your head battered a couple times, let's see how you feel and see if you're fortunate to wake up from getting your head smashed in. Yeah, I did that. She deserves every whack. Every whack. Prayers to this family for baby Fallon. Praying for your family. Praying for this child. Praying for all of you out there. Please watch your children. Please be mindful of your children. Please be mindful of the people you have around your kids. If you have to set up cameras in your house while having others in your home take care of your children, then do so. And gladly let them know you have surveillance cameras in your house. So they won't think about abusing your child. Like, share, subscribe. Drop the comments below. Thanks for joining me. You all have a wonderful holiday season. God bless all of you. Mask up, America. COVID is real. Prayers for my friend, Miss Mary, and all those who have been sick and affected by COVID. And also those who have lost their lives to COVID-19. Like, share, subscribe. Drop the comments below. Thank you for joining me, and thanks for listening. All my new fans, all my new listeners, old friends, old fans, I'm grateful for all of you, and God bless you. And this is FD Shenanigans. Bye-bye.